What is up, everyone? Welcome to Panfro Games, and I hope everyone's having a great time with the brand new menu glitch that I did a video on yesterday. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing a shortened version of that menu glitch. It's gonna remove a couple of steps, and hopefully it ends up being a little bit easier for you guys. And I'm gonna be showcasing another glitch in this video as well that is gonna be about how to make infinite items without actually cloning your Pokemon. Because I know a lot of people don't wanna make more Pokemon. Maybe they just don't have a lot of Pokemon they wanna clone over, whether they're not shiny or whatever, but they just want the items. And I understand that. I mean, rare candies, bottle caps, ability patches, those are gonna be your primo items. I mean, I guess Master Balls as well or any sort of the Apricot Balls. So let's just dive right into the setup. So if you don't know how to do the glitch, we're just gonna go walk through step by step here. So you wanna be on Route 211 right next to Celestic Town. And Celestic Town can be found right on the middle of the map here. So once you are at Celestic Town, any point in the game, you can do this and you just wanna to go to the left slightly. And we actually wanna to go to our options here because one, you wanna have your tech speed set on fast just to make the uh, fly menu part easier. And you wanna have your background music and Pokemon cries all the way down and sound effects up. This is so you can actually hear the strength block go, which is gonna make it a lot easier to tell if you actually did the glitch correctly. And the last thing you need to do is you need to have your hidden moves pokey uh, tech in the top right hand corner. And you wanna have your hand placed over the fly option just to make it as easy as possible. So what we're gonna be doing here to actually start the glitch is we need to start using strength. So we're gonna tell the barrel here to use strength and just move the block over. So now it's possible to move. So just move it over one and now we're gonna get into the corner and now we're gonna look at the block but not actually push the block. So now all the setup is complete and now we can actually begin the glitch. So it's actually fairly simple. So what we're gonna be trying to do here is we're gonna be hitting right on the directional pad, the D pad, and then we're gonna be hitting R at the same time. So we're gonna be hitting these two buttons at the same time. So the right button, which is on top here, right? and then right on the directional pad. My video is mirrored, so it's gonna look like I'm going left, but this is right for me. If you are doing this from the other side, you can do right the R button, and then you can also do left on the D-pad. It's just in whatever direction that you're actually going in, but I think this is the easiest setup to do. So we need to hit these two buttons at the same time. All right, so now we have interrupted the pushing block animation, and we sort of canceled it. So if you did this correctly with the hand, you just wanna make sure your hand is over fly. Now you wanna hit A. So it's a simple press of A, no speed here, just hit A. And now if you did it correctly, what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna hit right on the D-pad and you're gonna push the block. You just gotta push it once. If you don't hear the surf, uh, the strength noise in the background, that means you did it incorrectly and you just gotta restart. And honestly, it's not a big deal if you have to restart. Just keep on trying until you get it. So you heard that? It was like the block move, like, right? So now we actually can do the glitch. So this is very simple. We just can fly to any town, any town at all. I used the right stick to menu, by the way. If you use the left stick, it could potentially mess up the glitch. So what we need to do here is we're gonna hit A and then X. Because we have fast tech speed on, you can mirror my movements when I say A then X. And when we do that, we're gonna be flying to the town. But when we are flying to the town, we also wanna get into our Pokemon menu as well. But you don't actually need to go all the way into the global trade room or even to the check summary. You can actually just do it just by going to your Pokemon. So this is what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna hit A then X, then A again. And then we wanna menu to Pokemon and that's it. So that black screen means we have flown. Now we have flown and now we go back and now we got the menu. So there we go. So we got the menu very easily. It's super simple overall a fewer steps in the last video. So I hope this was extremely helpful for you guys. And now we are ready to do the item duping glitch just for items, not for Pokemon. Uh, we covered that in the last video with Pokemon, but just for fast items. So I just wanna showcase, I only have one golden bottle cap for reference here. So I only have one in my bag. By the end of this, I wanna have 31, right? Cause we're gonna be cloning an entire box of golden bottle caps. So we're gonna go to our Pokemon here. And we're gonna go to our boxes, right? Same old, same old. So all the Pokemon in here are holding a golden bottle cap. I can press X and then bam, you can see all of them have golden bottle caps, right? And now to perform the glitch, we just gotta select the first Pokemon in the box here. 
And then at this menu, we're actually just gonna hit the X button. So we're not gonna hit A, we're gonna hit X right here. It's gonna bring up the second menu. And now we're actually gonna do some menuception and go to the boxes in the second menu. So now with the Pokemon in this second menu, so we are gonna just take the items off of them. So we're gonna hit the X button and you can see that the all the golden bottle caps are still here and we can just put them in the bag. And this is a lot faster to do it when you hit X because you are on the held item screen. So you can just really easily take out rows and rows of Pokemon within, you know, a few seconds. And if, you know, you have a lot of items, this can, of course, take a while. But, you know, we got a row done pretty quickly and I'm focusing on recording a video here. So I'm sure you can do it a lot faster than me. But the beauty of this is this is not going to remove the golden bottle caps on the Charizards on the other menu on the original menu and if done correctly we can keep repeating this over and over again and just getting infinite items incredibly fast on one menu glitch and the original bottle caps will still stay there on the charizards and the evs down here as well as you can see as i'm trying to fill in time here we are almost done so this is relatively quick and a pokemon box holds 30 pokemon so if you do this per box you can get 30 of an item very quickly uh items i do recommend for this is any sort of bottle cap standard or golden ability patches nature mints are really good too uh you can do master balls maybe even nuggets if you just want to get money uh and there's just so many different options well, honestly whatever you want you can do as a fossil or anything that's a held item right so we're just gonna go back now we're gonna go back again and we're gonna go back again and now we're gonna go down to check summary and that's very important because you check summary will make this official and as you can see the charts are still actually holding the golden bottle cap so we're going to go back and actually see if this worked out correctly so to do that we're going to go to our bag and our bag now says 31 golden bottle caps and so within the same menu glitch i can just rinse wash and repeat all over again as you can see here go to the first pokemon hit x bring up the second menu go to pokemon again he go to our boxes and then you know hit x to pull it back get the bag we have bagged it and then you know just because we got that one there's a very quick version of it go back make sure that you hit check summary on the pokemon that's being held or you will not have any of the stuff go through go back go back again and just to prove my point again check the bag and this will say 32 and it says 32 so yeah you can apply this to anything as you can see i have a lot of regular bolding uh, regular bottle caps and honestly you can do this with rare candies i made a lot of rare candies you can make a lot of max repels too and literally any item you want so it doesn't actually matter whatever you want and anything that can be held by a pokemon counts so like yeah rare candies pp max pp up like you can do this with vitamins as well that's another good one evolutionary items so have fun and you know keep on having fun with this game until maybe they patch it again one day but for now i think it is very safe to upgrade to 1.1.3 do this new menu glitch, duplicate all your items and all your Pokemon, and you can trade online as well. So I hope you guys found this video really helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon action, whether it is Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or Pokemon Legends Arceus, or any other variety game content I want to cover. Peace out, and have a great one.